famous anyways that is one. Bishchut bezat Hashem the holy chag that we're right now so beautifully dwelling inside. May Hakadosh Baruch Hu bless us all with all the barachot and spill on us a year of of shefa and kinyan. Now, but I first of all today we have a few things. Today we are in the shpizin of Aaron, so we know about the concept of Aaron. Oev shalom, oev shalom, oev teberot mekavam la Torah, and. We have also the Sefirah of the day, which is Yesod, which is Yosef. But we know about that the Sefirah of Yosef is the Sefirah that where all the Sefirot transfer to, where the Yesod actually has all the Sefirot moving through them, and it's a matter of just connecting ourselves and bringing down the Bech. You know, about that, before I get to what I want to speak about, you know, that Mishnah of Aaron Akoen, where it says, Oef Shalom, Rodef Shalom, Oef Teberiot, Mekavim La Torah, it's a Mishnah that always it challenged me to truly understand what is the Mishnah trying to tell us here. Because if you take the actual words of the Mishnah, Aaron loves Shalom, he loves peace, he chases after the peace, he loves people, and he brings them to the Torah. What is the Mishnah truly trying to come and to teach us? So now, what I, last year I thought about something amazing that maybe we could try to explain about Aaron Akwin. You know, we know that Shalom the word peace. There are two types of peace that exist in the world. There is peace between a man and his friend. Then there is true peace. What is true peace? Peace between no? a, Kadosh ba- a person and a Kadosh Baruch Hu. That true shalom is a person that has peace. He's, he's whole with his emunah. He's whole with his face. He's complete with the way he sees the world because he is with peace and HaKadosh Baruch And that of what is true peace. Even if we look at the word Shalom, what is the word Shalom? The word, of shal- the word Shalom is one of the names of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Where that's why in the Shulchan Aruch even said that the person cannot say Shalom, cannot greet his friend until he does not do the, all the Bachot of HaShacha. Because the name Shalom, the word Shalom, is the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So true peace is not only between you and your friend, but actually, between you and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So maybe I could explain, like we could say, that Aaron, Oef Shalom, and Rodef Achar Shalom. He loves HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Shalom, the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and he chases after HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But how can you truly chase after HaKadosh Baruch Hu and be in the path of Hashem if other people around you are falling behind and you're not going there to help them? So what did Aaron do? He loves Hashem, Oef Shalom, Odef Shalom, chase uh, 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 after the Shalom. So what did he do? Oev et Beriot, and because he loves people, Mekavam la Torah. So essentially, you cannot truly love HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you cannot be in peace with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, unless you don't do that act of Aaron, of bringing people back with Shuvah, of spreading the Torah, of bringing it in a way that people can come and take, like what it said, that the Torah is for everyone. It's a matter of getting up and taking. And that about it really is the, is the essence of Aaron Akwen. Spreading Torah. If you have something nice, don't keep it to yourself. Like what it says in the Mishnah also. If you hold something good, Al Tachzik Tovar Atzmecha. If you're holding something that is good, something that is valuable, don't keep it for yourself. Pass it on. And that about it is the essence of today, is the essence of our mission today. It even said in the, in the Gemara in Masachet Rosh Hashanah, the page Kaf Gimel. There it says there that a person that knows a little bit Torah, and does not share it. It is like Adas, one of the four uh, 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 species, that is growing in the desert. You could have hundreds of trees of Adasim, but it's worth nothing. Why? Because the trees are going to grow, they're going to die, and no one's going to ever enjoy from them. And that is the essence of a person that, uh, that, is, uh, that has some good of Torah, has anything good and does not share it. And there's so much to speak about this. But the bottom line about it, go, if you have a good chidush, we all hear a good chidush in Bokhash in this time of, of the year. Spread it on Shabbat, say it on your Shabbat table, don't hold it for yourself, spread the Torah, and that about is how we're going to be shalom with Aaron Akwin. Now about it, this Shabbat is a very important Shabbat because of what follows it. So we know about it, that all of us, we all go to sleep knowing that the day of judgment passed. But people are already falling back into their bad habits. They're already going back into their daily life. The, the Yamim Noraim, the month of Elul, finished. That's it. The day of judgment has passed. But actually, Rabotai, the sealing did not happen yet. 
The sealing of the judgment will only happen when? Will only happen on Mutzah Shabbat, which is called Oshana Rabbah. Our custom, and the custom of all Am Yisrael, that on Oshana Rabbah, what do we do? We stay up the whole night and we study. Why? To show HaKadosh Baruch Hu, look, the whole world is sleeping, and we are studying on the day when the judgment is sealed. So Abu Tai, if we want that Hashem for the judgment to be sealed in a good way, we need to give good preparation for the day of sealing the judgment. Meaning that this entire Shabbat, we need to make sure Abu Tai, it is a Shabbat full of Kedushah. It is a Shabbat, not just a Shabbat where you sit around and uh, you do a, 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 Baruch Hashem resting is good on Shabbat. But, but a real Shabbat of Kedushah, Shabbat of Simcha, a Shabbat of, of Ahavat Echad Asheni, of love one for each other. For each other. And only like that, Abotai, we could, Be'ezat Hashem, come on Hoshana Rabbah, do a night full of, of Torah, a night full of fire, Be'ezat Hashem, in order for our judgment to be sealed in a good way to have a sweet year to come. Shabbat Shalom Bevorach, Chag Sameach, and may HaKadosh Baruch Hashem spill on us this year, Big Shefa. Amen. Amen.